All right, so let's let's talk about biggest winners of the offseason. It's got to be Duke, right? Yeah. T.O., T.O., I'm going to you on this one. You're the ACC guy. Yeah, Duke. What do you, what do you gotta expect? Got to be thrilled. Got to be thrilled with Filipowski coming back. I was a little surprised that uh, Mbako decided to get out of there because I thought he fit right into where Derek Whitehead left. Like, I was a little surprised. There. I didn't think he should have done that. Like, what? why would you Why would you leave? You slide right in. It's It's – easy pickings at that point. I, I mean, I realize they got some other good players coming in, but he's just such a quality shooter that could fit alongside what they already have at the one, two, four. And I guess they're trying to recruit a five right now, but like he fits right in there. I didn't, I, I was a little bit uh, shocked. I'm curious to see where he ends up, but with Filipowski coming back, I'm assuming Roach comes back. Like, where's he going to go? Like today's NBA, he's not going to be a high enough draft pick where it's it's that's going to be a huge issue unless he wants to transfer he's not going to be a draft pick that's what i'm saying like it doesn't it, like he needs to come back proctor's back filipowski's back and then they got some guys coming in that are still going to be really really good it, i don't see where they miss i don't see where they miss right now a, a, a quality defensive five man i know they're involved with uh, caden shedrick a little bit virginia transfer who for whatever reason just couldn't stay on the floor at virginia um like he, that he would fit that mold of kind of a lively, you know, live body, block shots, long arms, disruptor defensively. They're going to be really good again. They're going to be really good again. And that train, that Shire train, I'm telling you, it's stopping for nobody. The guy's, mm -hmm. the guy is really sharp. And here's here's the best thing about it. You mentioned the guys they got coming back, and you mentioned a couple of five star freshmen. I think there's now four or five star freshmen he's got coming in. Those guys aren't going to be playing major minutes right off the rip. Mm -hmm. They're probably going to be some of those kids that end up playing uh, a lot as sophomores. And once you can kind of build that continent, the most important thing, continuity, getting old, staying old. And I think that Shire's got a system in place where he's going to be able to do that. Because, I mean, if you can make sure that those kids, uh, those sophomores are getting paid well enough or they're not making a financial decision to jump off to the NBA, makes sense. Well, another thing, too, like, well, we got two more years of this COVID nonsense. Like, if you're so able to get – yeah, if we're able to get five star kids like to come in consistently and have them sit for a year, and then just say, "Hey, guys, just you don't have to be twenty four years old after this COVID nonsense is done. Like you could be sophomores and juniors and be national championship favorites." Mm -hmm. So 